Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in any website, the request sent by the client or by the user must be validated before it is being processed. Okay. Now to do such kind of validation, GSA provides some predefined validators. Okay. What are those validators that I will discuss in this video, right? The validators which I will discuss is validate double range, validate long range, validate length, validate regex. These are the validators which I will discuss in this video, right? Now here if you see, here I have used input text and after that, inside this input text, let me remove this message first, validator message, let me remove this, okay? And here I have used the validator, validate double range with attribute minimum equals to 200, maximum equals to 1000. This means the value which will be provided in this text field must be between 200 and 1000. It cannot be less than 200. It cannot be greater than 1000. Okay. If you are providing less than 200 or greater than 1000, then GSF will provide a default message. Let me run this. Then you will be able to understand what is happening. Yes, this is the text we created. Suppose here I am giving the value as uh, 120. Now click here. See, we are getting this message. Specified attribute is not between the expected values 200 and 1000. This is the default message generated by the GSM. You, if you want to overwrite this message, then you can use this validator message attribute. Okay. Now, let me refresh this once more. Now, here if you provide the value, now click here. Now, see, we are getting this message. Must be between 200 and 1000, which I have written here. Right now, this validated double range validator will work with float values. Similarly, we have validated long range, which works with integer values. Right then, we have validated length. Validated length means the value provided in the input text field must have a length minimum 6, maximum 10. Okay, then here I have used validated rejects. This means the value provided in this input. A secret field must be in lowercase and should be a minimum of six characters okay the type of regex which we will specify here accordingly your validate regex will work okay these are the validator tags which is provided by gsf i hope you have understood validate double range will work with double values or float values validate long range will work with integer values Validate length will check the length which is given in a particular text field and validate regects the pattern which we specify here that pattern will be applied to the text field right if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you so much